Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can import a database in MySQL Workbench. First open your Workbench and connect to a MySQL server. I already have this test connection here and this is just the MySQL server on my local machine. If you want to know how to do this, check the link in the description. It will show how you can uh, connect to a MySQL server from Workbench. Okay, once you are done, just take, uh, connect to that MySQL server inside inside you will see a bunch of databases that are already here now instead of administrations here if you, you are seeing something like this click on schemas and you will see a bunch of databases so now we want to import database to import let's say we want to import a database so what we do is click on administrator administration and click on data import slash restore okay and now Check out our brand new awesome you have promos. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, SQL, we've got stickers for laptops, or notebooks, or cups, bags, and a lot more. File, so Get it today I from the link below. Backup here in downloads folder. Okay, my bad. So we are importing from a .sql file. So click on this first, that is .sql, and then search for your backup file. Okay, I'll go to downloads and click on the database file that is .sql now we need to choose where do we want to import this data so right now i have not created any new new database so that's why i'll again go back to schemas and create a new database that is empty so this is what is recommended because if you are importing into an existing database you might get conflicts because they already have tables and they'll already have uh, data in there so you can create a new schema by just clicking this button here and let's call it new db okay now click on apply click apply and this new database is created so what we'll do is we'll import all the data inside this new data that is new database new underscore db okay so go back here now this will not show the new db immediately so we'll have to just redo this thing again go to administration click on data import and click on self-contained file click on this browse button and choose your .sql file from which you want to import and choose the default target schema that is the one that we just created new underscore db and then click on start import i will show the progress here and as you can see the import is completed now click back on the schemas here and inside new db as you can see you'll have some new tables created and if i view this all the data will also be imported so this is how you can import database into workbench or you can uh, this is how you can import data from a sql file into a database using workbench if you have any questions let me know in the comments below